Well, hello, beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back, Capricorn. This is your bonus reading. Let's see, what uh, news do you have? Ooh, something to do with family? A call to f a family unexpected call, unexpected phone call? What's this unexpected phone call? Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Somebody angry and fighting here. What the hell is this? An attack? Look at this. Somebody attacking you? What the hell? Somebody scared of a of a fight? This is someone coming in like on the attack, wanting to fight, pick a fight. What? This is a fight over money? Somebody, oh, somebody's mocking someone's past? Is this over money? Is this over it is? the hell's going on here why is someone embarrassed or what the hell there's somebody fighting and arguing here somebody bringing up somebody's past here what's going on somebody may be feeling pretty emotional right now over something it's like, what's going on here? And why is, why are there three feminines here? some fighting and bickering and arguing here. Somebody's like, well, there's a lot of communication going on here. What's going on? Somebody spying on a high priestess. <laughs> who is getting a lot of attention and, and why why is all this arguing here bringing up the past what's why are these people all carrying on here it's like jealousy Jealous of somebody's... Oh, come off it. I don't want to do this reading. It's like pettiness. This is petty bullshit going on here. It really is. I don't know if these are siblings. I don't know if this is sibling rivalry that's going on here. All this bullshit 
henpecking and tragedy and blah, 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 blah. It's water under the bridge. It's like, it's petty. Petty. I, I, there could be three sisters here. I don't know. It could be sibling rivalry. I don't know. Or something crazy going on here. Is this family? It's pettiness. Is this family or what the heck is this spirit? Is this over a relationship? Is this family or what the heck is this? Someone refusing. I'm not extending the olive branch. I am not doing it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make things right. I am not extending the olive branch. They're gonna have to kiss my ass. I am not extending the olive branch. They can come to me. I am not reaching out. They can reach out. I am not getting involved. I'm not talking to them if they're not talking to me. That's petty. Oh my God. Over some sneaky ass human being. I, I don't want to deal with this reading. Someone is just like, I couldn't do it either. Somebody is like, I ain't dealing with this. Someone is a right fighter. They need to be right. They're very, come off, freaking arrogant. They say the most arrogant, rude things. Not giving a shit how they affect the feelings of others. They just come off as like a know-it-all. They're very arrogant. They, this could be friends, this could be co-workers, this could be family. So, it's looking like this is petty bullshit. What it is, is someone doesn't want to get caught in, the, in their lies. Someone is deceptive. They're fibbing their face off, but they can't save face. They can't admit when they're wrong, or they can't admit that they've done something wrong. This is a feminine who cannot admit that they have done something wrong here. It's like... Well, I'm not talking to them. They can come talk to me. Well, it's pettiness. It's pettiness. <clears throat> Someone's been spreading rumors and lies. And they've been talking behind the back of other feminines. They're a backstabber. And... Holy shit, I don't know what's going on here. Someone is very emotionally manipulative. And they're really arrogant. They can't admit when they're wrong. They are never wrong, they're always right. And their way is the only correct way. Their way is the only right way. This is someone who will not admit guilt or any wrongdoing. Holy fuck. I couldn't do it. So I mean, they'll never admit guilt I 
I don't know what this is. Just let me play it out. It's a stalemate. It's not going anywhere. Jealous of someone else's happiness. Oh my good God. Petty. Jealousy. And envy. Over someone else's happiness. That's what they do. That action I just did. Someone's got their nose stuck on the ceiling and needs it scraped off with like a, a pry bar. Just saying. They are petty. They are juvenile. They're behaving like, you know, little high school something or others. This is high school shit, man. I swear to God. This one feminine got their nose stuck on the ceiling so high you'd have to scrape it off. They do no wrong, but they are a liar. They're emotionally manipulative. And they, they're never wrong. Ever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if these are sisters. I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah, so they're just like they're ignorant. Oh, I was friendly. Oh, I was friendly. I would never say that behind your back. I, I would, somebody's calling somebody out on their, on their lies. It is gossip and somebody's calling someone's ass out. They know that they've hurt somebody. They know that they have but they pretend you know like they would never do that i would never say that this is so f they got something wrong they live in fantasy land they would deny all, deny it all deny everything oh i would never do that yes they did Oh, I would never. Oh, that's your own insecurities. That's your own insecurities. No, you're a bitch. This is a family drama. Look. This is a family collapse. This is a family situation. judgment I told you it's your own insecurities you're going to hurt this whole family because of your insecurities blame 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 what about looking in the mirror and yeah that's the mirror how about you look in the mirror and see your own wrongdoings? Because you've got some over here. Whoever this um, Queen of Swords is, who thinks they're smarter than everybody else, who thinks they... <laughs> look at this. They're not so innocent. They're lying. And they deny it all. I'm that manipulative. Oh no. I would never do that. 
I would never emotionally manipulate anybody. I would never say that about you. They're being called out. Someone in here is telling the truth. Someone in here is very confident. They're not insecure at all. That's what this person, this Queen of Swords is saying. Oh, you're just saying that. This is a family drama, which is getting really petty. Why it's in the read, I don't know. So it's obviously got something to do with Capricorn or it wouldn't be here. So anyway, this petty fool here is going around with their nose stuck up in the air thinking that they're all that in a bag of chips and everybody else is a piece of crap. They would never come out and say that, but that's what they think. They talk behind people's backs, they gossip, they cause trouble, <laughs> they're arrogant, and just like, I'm all that. And they blame, they said, oh, you're only angry because it's your own insecurities. You're just insecure. No, you're a bitch. Someone is standing up, telling the truth. Does this person look... Does this person look like they're insecure? They're saying it because that is how they feel. They're saying it, this truth, because that's how they feel. They feel hurt by the things this Queen of Swords has been saying, doing, talking behind their backs, being emotionally manipulative, I don't know, maybe they're able to mo emotionally manipulate mom, but they do not emotionally manipulate whoever this is. They're very confident. They're very independent. There is nothing low self-esteem about this individual. So they're talking up shit creek here. They're covering their own ass for their wrongdoings that they did. And they are being petty as hell. Instead of coming to terms and saying, you know what? I'm really sorry. I guess I was, not I guess. I was out of line. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have talked about you like that. They will deny it profusely. I didn't do that. I'm innocent. I did not do that. I would never do that. But they're doing it. They're lying. Straight up lying. I don't know if they're trying to get mom's attention or it's like they give, it's like this, vying for affections mom's affections or dad's affections it's like fucked it's about control and it's about blame could be that they're blaming a cancerian for standing up for themselves. Maybe this is a mom figure. I don't know. This person is sticking up for themselves. They're not going to be browbeat. I'm not going to let you make me feel insecure. I'm not going to let you talk about me. I'm not going to let you talk about the people who I love. I'm, I'm not going to let you run me down and make me feel insecure. So you can feel better than me or more worthy than me. You're not better than me. That's what this person is saying. You're not better than me. I love you, but I am not going to take a back seat to you. I'm not going to put up with it. 
I gotta set some boundaries here. And they're trying to be fair. They're trying to be just. They're trying to be fair. Oh, what the hell else do you want? Oh, let's go to counseling. I can't do this read. I'm already disgusted. So this is like, the idea behind this is, oh, let's let's go to family counseling or let's go and talk about this to the counselor. Let's go and talk about this through counseling. What? This is insanity, man. Someone's off the rocker. Like, I don't know if somebody is like... I don't know it I can't imagine the in-laws are in on it everybody's in on it here it's just a mess it's a complete mess but somebody is doing this to protect someone else so this Queen of Swords is actually doing this to protect their husband or their boyfriend. Their husband or boyfriend is a jerk. A complete jackass. Who seems all so smart. And all we got two know-it-alls now. Two know-it-alls getting in on the action. Oh my god. Somebody's like, I'll wait till hell freezes over before before I'm getting involved in this one. It's like I'm gonna wait till hell freezes over. I ain't getting involved in this. It's petty, it's ridiculous, it's that people can't bring themselves to address the real issues. You can go to counseling all day long but unless you're willing to be honest with the counselor you are wasting your time and money and resources unless you're going there being a hundred percent transparent with the counselor the counselor can't fix these problems the counselor is sitting here handing out medication the counselor is making money off the situation. I cannot believe this. I had this read for you before Capricorn. It's like this counselor is making money. There could be writing prescriptions for like medication. It could be antidepressants. And that'll make everything go away. These are antidepressants. A and somebody is sent here. Instead of getting to the heart of the issue, the counselor is sitting there making money off it all. The counselor's getting paid huge ass money. Prescribing drugs. This is a counselor prescribing drugs.
antidepressants. Instead of like healing what needs to be healed. You know, you go there and talk about your problems. They make a mint off you. But they're not solving the issues. They're not solving the problems. They just let you talk. And then giving their opinion. It's like, well, instead of fixing or healing the problem. They're making money, give, dishing out drugs to everybody. And these drugs is making somebody unstable. So it's a perpetual circle. Instead of being completely honest with the counselor and saying what you need fixed, a good counselor will give you that advice. How to heal yourself. What needs to be addressed? This counselor is sitting here hoping you never get better because they're making freaking money off you. When the real issue is that somebody needs to heal. Like... Someone needs a spiritual advisor, not a counselor. Someone needs like a spiritual healing here or some type of... Medicine, this medication is making the problem worse. Look, it's creating fear. It's creating depression. It's creating exhaustion, depression sadness when it stems from childhood someone needs to heal their inner child oh <clears throat> This is somebody like, somebody could have been on like antidepressants since they was a kid. Like since they was a child. Or very young. Started taking medication as a teenager. I mean, you're not supposed, I don't know, I'm not, like, I, I'm not a doctor. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist. But in this particular read, it is saying that it is these prescriptions that is making someone sick. And they're fooling themselves and they're lying to themselves. It's creating, it's making them, it's making them emotionally vulnerable. And it's making them, instead of addressing the real issues as to why they need the medication... They're medicating. This is throw pills at you. Here's pills. Keep taking pills. Come back next week. Here's some more pills. Come back next week. But what it's doing is like, why is everybody on antidepressants? For real. Why is everybody taking them? Why is everybody on them? I mean, there's a common denominator here. And it's making them sad, moody, depressed, and, and making them stressed out, tired, full of fear and anxiety, depression and sadness, taking this freaking shit. Somebody needs to heal their inner child. Period. 
because it's making them off balance. This, is, this could be a misdiagnosis. So somebody could be saying like, oh, you're clinically depressed or whatever. Well, who wouldn't be if they had a painful past? And, and like the meds isn't making someone heal it's just like a band-aid it's not addressing the issue what needs healed hmm. wow somebody's on some medication that um i don't think they should it's making someone off balance. It's making someone off balance. They've been taking this for a long time. Like, going on it's just it's like waiting for the next you know pill or whatever I don't know but someone gets right defensive about it too like, if you talk about it or you mention it, someone gets right defensive. I don't know. This read is saying in particular, someone needs a spiritual healing. Like, their inner child healed, not medication. Take it as it resonates. I'm no doctor. I just want to say it's here. Take care.